Good day YouTube community, it is your boy here Dynamo Martinez and today as you guys can see this is a FIFA 16 best Belgium under 21 team. For the player to even be involved in this team, the player has to be under 21 at the start of a career mode, has to be Belgium and I have to have used the player before. So now let me get into the team starting off with our goalkeeper Davy Roof. Now this guy, I don't like him at all. I've used him a couple of times in the a career mode of my own and he wasn't good. I just struggled using him. He got up to about 76 and then I stopped using him. Now Belgium don't have very good under 21 goalkeepers. Davy Roof is the best under 21 goalkeeper but there's still Simon Mignolet or Thibaut Courtois. Those guys are better, way better options than Davy Roof. He doesn't have that great potential, as you can see, his status doesn't show anything, so he won't even get to 80. Not my favorite keeper, not even a good keeper in my opinion, in this game, but let's just skip him because he's not. he didn't perform that well for me. Next up is Bjorn Engels, the man from Vikings. Now this guy is great, he's from Klaus Braga. Now he got up to 82, 83 for me, I think it was 83. But this guy was good, he's a very defensive type of defender, very good, not very great when you compare him to Foster centre-backs, but this guy does really well for you. He has a potential of 82, but this guy is way better than the 82 rating shows. He's very good when it comes to corners, he can header the ball in with 77 heading accuracy. He has good strength, so he will be able to bully fast strikers off the ball especially if they're not as strong as him and he has long passing so he will play very good balls to your wingers and he can play a good ball to your striker if you like play the route one style of football it gives you a different kind of outlet to play your game I would say you buy this guy for about five million pounds he's from Club Braga which is in Brazil I'm not in Brazil my bad Belgium get him from Belgium he is an amazing player. Next up is the CM. Now, I did not have any Belgian fullbacks to put in the team, so I put Leander Dendoka in center back role. He can play CM, CDM, as well as CM. Look at that. He's a very good Belgian. He's six foot two, so he can control the back four. Now look at that. He has good long passing. He has decent defensive stats. He has good passing stats as well. He's a very well-rounded player in my opinion. He's already from RSC Anderlecht, so you can also get this guy for a simple amount. He's worth about five million pounds, showing great potential. He has 84 potential. This guy can definitely reach his ceiling and go beyond that to the training regime we have. Nothing much to say about this guy because his stats are very well-rounded. Besides his finishing and penalties, everything else is very well-rounded. Now to our other centre back. Now this guy is on loan to Galatasaray. 73 overall, but he has an 84 potential. He is my favorite defender in Belgium, in my opinion. And this guy is good because he doesn't get outpaced by fast strikers with an acceleration of 79, sprint speed of 78. With a strength of 79, he can bully them off the ball and very solid defensive stats in marking, slide tackle, and stand tackle. Great player. Interceptions at 73 too, so he will break up play. This guy is very good, and his stats may not show a well-rounded guy, but this guy can stop teams from developing in the final third. He's amazing. My favorite defender. I say you buy this guy immediately after he's loan with Galatasaray. He's done. Jason Denier. Buy him. Next up is Charlie Musonda. Now, this guy from Real Betis, you should just look at this. This is something very good. Weak foot 5, skill moves 5. Now this guy is just a straight up dribbler. You can dribble past players like he's just a joke with balance, agility, ball control and dribbling all in the green margins. And you know what? You can always change that with thanks to the training regime. You can increase those and get them all to 99. This guy is a cartoon character. I remember one of the YouTubers told me, like I heard one of the YouTubers say it, when you explain a player who's just so easy to use, this guy just glides past players, one after the other. He is my favorite 
dribbler in this team in my opinion because he's balance and agility and showing they all combine to make this guy a very agile type of player he doesn't have much traits or specialities but this guy becomes very good he's a cam he gets 84 potential and he's only 18 he's worth about 3 million pounds I say if you have the time and patience to grow this man up you got a real star on your hands next up is Yuri Tielemans I don't need to talk about him he has 90 potential 76 overall one of the best young players in the game if not the best young player in the game his stats are all well rounded except for his heading accuracy he's world class already right now 76 overall at the age of 18 this man will start in all your teams whether you play with Bayern Munich or Real Madrid or even if you play with Watford or Aston Villa this guy will be a starter for your team he's worth about 10 to 12 million pounds nothing much to say about him because everyone does know about him next up is Aaron Leia Iseka now this guy is also from RFC and the left who have quite a good plethora of young players 80 potential I use him on the wing the right midfield to tell you the truth he's a very good winger I don't use him as a striker at all but he has good finishing 71 and he can score you goals he's strong he's fast and he has strength and he can finish which is the best thing he is a very solid player and I say get him if you're doing a road to glory he's the best type of striker I think you guys can afford he's worth only 1 million pounds you can even get him on loan and pay about 725 which is his value over there his stats may not be well rounded but this guy is a very good winger in my opinion that's why he's in my starting 11 next up is Dennis Pride also from RSC Anderlecht 77 rated 21 years of age 84 potential look at his stats Nothing more to say about his stats. Just well rounded everywhere. Besides his defensive stats and penalties, he's very, very good. Look at that ball control, dribbling, long pass, short short pass. He's a good playmaker. I prefer playing him as Cam, but he can play left mid as well and cuts inside. He can take a shot. His finishing may not look it, but long shots and short power do help him out quite a bit and he can get assist after assist for you especially with short pass and long pass he is that playmaker the Belgium under 21 team have next up is Zakaria Pakali now if you know this guy from previous people you know this guy is an absolute animal look at his stats there's more dark green here than any other player prior on the list acceleration agility sprint speed balance Dribbling, curve, this guy's an animal. Now, just look at the positions he can play. Only the wing position. He has good weak footing, good skill moves, but he won't defend for you. He's not that tall. His strength is poor. Heading accuracy is poor, but he is that player who will be a complete menace on the wing. He can cross in the ball. He can dribble past players. He's an absolute beast. Sign this guy as soon as he's Valencia. One year contracting is done. He was signed by Valencia, so you're gonna have to loan him out, or you're gonna have to wait till the summer, or the, I mean the January transfer window, because it's summer here where I live. At the time, it's winter for in this game. So Zachary Bacali, get this guy in the January transfer window, or even loan him out in the summer transfer window if you can. This guy is brilliant. He's worth about 7.5 million pounds. Yannick Caresco, another guy who got a move to another team. He plays for Atletico Madrid. This guy is brilliant. He's worth 10 million pounds. He's my favorite winger who plays for Belgium. He's better than Hazard, in my opinion, in this game because look at his stats. He gets an 84 potential. Zachary Bacali had an 85 potential. But this guy is just brilliant. Look at his stats compared to Bacali's. Their stats are completely different this guy is more well-rounded and he still has this a decent amount of greens short power dribbling ball control he can finish he can shoot he can dribble he can run past players and he's quite agile so he can slip through a lot of defenders and he's crossing 75 too so he will whip in good quality balls into the box and now he has an acrobatic skill so he will score you goals and he has decent skill moves and good weak foot and he has high attacking work rate, so this man will play for you. 
that is basically why he's my favorite winger Michi Bachoyi now this guy from Marseille he's the best under 21 striker playing for Belgium this guy is just brilliant he's basically Lukaku a younger version of Lukaku in my opinion good finishing good shot power good sprint speed good strength this guy is basically there's nothing much to say if you love playing with Lukaku you will love playing with Michi Bachoyi now this guy has about 85 86 potential I got this guy up to 90 now he's only 21 79 in my Marseille career mode I abused the training regime I played him every game I could and I performed well with him he got to 90 I loved using this guy he was my best player in my team but he was just an amazing striker and I sold him to Real Madrid for a hefty profit I think he wasn't the best player in my team at the time and I won't deny just looking at his stats you can just see this guy is an amazing player especially as an attacker <clears throat> now let's go up to other players now this guy don't know much about him I tried him a bit skipped him Divock Origi now he was okay he has an 84 82 potential around that area plays for Liverpool worth about 7 million pounds nothing great about the guy he has good sprint speed good finishing so he's that type of pacey player the pacey striker that people like using that's Divock Origi he's a great player in my opinion but not better than Michibachui so he'll never really start and he has good strength as well good reactions he's a well-rounded attacking player who can make a pass here and there with good short passing but nothing much to say about the guy because you can't really compare him to the other striker on this list but here is a couple more players this Mi Michael Halen was already an RSC next up is Adnan Yanazaj the last man on our list this guy is brilliant I don't know why United loaned him out to Dortmund they brought him back and I believe he got injured I'm not even sure I think he might be injured but looking at his stats he has decent stats and 80 potential this guy is good very good good acceleration good agility good sprint speed he can dribble past players like an animal good short pass good long pass good crossing he is a playmaking winger and he would be in my team had Dennis Bright not already been there Dennis Bright overall is a better player than Adnan Yanazaj because Adnan Yanazaj can't shoot he can't defend he can't take shots from outside of the box but you can train this guy up he's worth about six million pounds and remember he doesn't usually play for United in real life and in game he's probably not gonna play ahead of Memphis the pie so you can get this guy for cheap five million six million pounds last man on the list okay guys so that is basically the under 21 Belgium team so please leave a like if you enjoy the video Comment if you want me to do another country or if you have another way of me improving my videos. And subscribe if you would like to see more. Hope to see you guys soon and see you later.